Hello and welcome to the request for quotation session. In this session, I'm going to outline how the out of the box online request for quotation functionality is working with SAP Business One. So first, uh, you can open the purchase quotation and I have this form open, as you can see here. You can select the vendor. And then, of course, you can uh, specify the required date. And add few items. So what, what you're doing here is creating a purchase quotation, which we're also going to create, if you check the box of creating online quotation, an online quotation that a vendor that is specified here and he has a specific email address will get a notification via email with a link that uh, will hold a, a link to the uh, online form that will allow the vendor to complete the purchase quotation and provide additional information about the specific quotation. Uh, um, uh, things like uh, how much out of the required quantity and in this case let's specify how much I would like to get from this quotation for specific items. In this case, for this first item, the A00001, I would like to have four, a quantity of four, and the A00002, I would like to have quantity of three. So again, after you finish completing this quotation form and make sure that you check this box, you can add the process quotation. And after it's added, you will see that we're going to get a notification within Business One that you have created an online purchase quotation in the internal messaging system, as well as uh, I also have here the email uh, um, or inbox of uh, simulating the client, and you can see that the, uh, sorry, the vendor, and you see that the vendor will get also a notification. And uh, in a few minutes, the incoming message will come. And here we go. You see that the vendor actually got an email uh, in an Outlook uh, that outlines, uh, dear vendor, this email uh, has a link about the online request for quotation and you'll be able to open the link and which will open a browser and you will have uh, in there the uh, request for quotation form. And here you'll be able to fill in a uh, different type of information here. Um, uh, but the main idea will be for you to actually provide how much quantity you can actually provide. And in this case, let's say I can provide the full quantity of four and my price for this item is going to be 120 US dollars. And also the specified delivery date, if it's uh, the date that you can actually commit or maybe you need a different date. Uh, and for example, for the second item, you can provide only quantity of two out of the three that is required. And uh, you can uh, specify again, different delivery date. Uh, from your point of view of the vendor, and also say um, uh, not enough in stock. And now you can click on save, and the notification will go back, and you can see the form is closing here. And still access it and modify it if you would like. And uh, also within SAP Business One, uh, a message will come. And if you open the messaging here, you can see that there was an RFQ update and you can actually open the message itself. It is going to have a link to the updated RFQ from the vendor. And you can see uh, that actually had uh, four items uh, for the first item and two only items on the second item with the text of the uh, uh, that was provided by the vendor about this specific uh, item. And uh, you can continue and, and wait with this, keep it open. And uh, if the vendor will, will update this form again, 
it will update this form as well but the moment you close it then there's no uh, updates will be able to be done to this purchase quotation thank you